All right, so we are continuing the quest to find the best training shorts, and today I'm reviewing the Warren 2-in-1 shorts from Wallaco. Now, three things to like with this pair of shorts is number one, I really enjoy the phone storage of this short. I find that phone storage is one of the issues that I have with a lot of different training shorts, whether I'm running, cross training, or I'm lifting in the gym. Having a good pocket for storage is key, or having a compression liner that you could store your phone is, is also key. In this short, we have a sweat proof pocket over here on the side. I personally love this. So inside this pocket, it has a material here to help avoid some of the sweat. And honestly, in this short, I have ran in 100 degree temps here in Austin, Texas, and my phone has always come out really dry which is not the case for my other shorts that I like to wear for running that don't have this feature. So I do think if you're somebody who wants a short for running and you run in hotter or more humid climates and you want to keep your phone dry, this can be a great option to go with. And I've been really impressed with the pocket too, just regarding its security. I really like that it's on the side of the short here, so it doesn't really get in the way either. Sometimes I find that the zip pockets on the front of the short, it can feel just kind of awkward at times or feel heavy. The second thing to like with this short is the stretch of the shell. So with this short, you have a nice stretchy shell. So whether you are running cross training or lifting, this short does a really good job at giving you mobility and never really feeling limiting. I can rock this short for heavy squats and then go run in them. And I like the feel of this short. The short is made with 71% nylon and then 29% spandex, which speaks to why this is so stretchy here. The third thing to like with the short is the waistband. So with the waistband here, you have a stretch waistband, but then you also have a drawstring that sits on the front of the short. Now, this can be a con in certain contexts, and I'll talk about that in a second. But for the most part, this drawstring has done a really good job at laying flat and not really Getting bunched up. So even when washing this short, I haven't had to hit deal with the waistband, which is a problem that I often have with my interval shorts, for example, from 10,000. I have to be very careful with how I wash those and other shorts that I have. But I do like how this fits on the waist and how it sits pretty true. And that drawstring never really gives me issues with washing. But now let's talk about a couple of cons that I have with the Warren. So the first drawback or con that I have with the Warren short is that the stitching is not the best up here on the waistband. So we have like fraying stitches up here. Now this has hasn't caused any breakdown just yet and this could just be some loose threads and I'm not really trying to cut them off or play with them because I don't want the waistband to lose any of its security or integrity but I do find that the stitching can be a little bit sloppy at certain points and again though I am giving them the benefit of the doubt and just hoping that these are just random loose threads and it's not really a quality issue because outside of these loose threads honestly the shorts quality has been really stellar thus far regarding how it feels for my training and how good the durability has been for the most part with the compression liner and the shell. The second con that I have with this short is the liner can ride up. So if you go with the liner option, what I would suggest doing is kind of pulling it up before you start running or training because what I think you'll find is that it starts to ride up over time and unless it's kind of settled and you're at a point to where it feels comfortable being a little bit up on your legs, especially for my guys out there with meteor thighs, it can be a little bit annoying to keep fidgeting with. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of pull it up and I'm like, okay, this isn't so unbearable and it's up a little bit and the goods are secure. I'll just leave it there and I'll rock and it tends to do a pretty good job. But if you're somebody who likes a compression liner and you're very OCD on having that thing stay put, this might not be the best option to go with. But for the most part, I've been really impressed with this short. But now let's talk about the performance of the Warren. To discuss the Warren's performance, I'll discuss how the shoe does for lifting, cross training, short runs, and at daily wear. For lifting, the short has done a good job. It's not technically designed for lifting, but honestly, the shell is still doing really good regarding its durability from from abrasion on the barbell, and also it has a good level of mobility. So if you want that short that can work well for running, but then you could also lift in it, I call these like my hybrid shorts. This can be a great option to go with in my opinion. Plus the waistband does have a good level of security as well. And besides the loose stitches, like the waistband has been pretty dang good regarding its durability. Now, what I will say is that this waistband isn't like the most rigid regarding like really gripping around your waist. And so I do like the intervals waistband better for that context. But once you kind of get that drawstring tight, it works pretty good. Now my issue with the drawstring though, in the context of lifting is that it is on the front of the short. And if you're doing any form of lifting where you might have a little bit of abrasion on the front of the body, this can be a little bit problematic regarding security at times. When it comes to cross training, the short has also done a good job. And I think where I really like this short for cross training is with its phone security. So if I'm doing dynamic workouts outdoors and I can't really leave my phone somewhere or I'm gonna to be too far away from it to keep my sound on if I'm listening to music, that's where I really like this short. And 
and its pocket system for that vertical. Not a lot of my training shorts I really like to jump in or do that type of workout in because the phone can just feel really clunky if I'm keeping that in my pocket. And then also what I like with this short for cross training is its overall breathability. It does a pretty good job with sweat wicking for the most part and it breathes pretty well. Again, these have been one of my go-to shorts here in Austin and it has been really hot over the last few weeks this summer. For short runs, this short has also done a really good job. We actually had a really good Reddit thread where we were talking about shorts and I mentioned that I had been running in these and I like them a lot for folks like me who are a lot more casual with your running. So if you're doing short runs that range from one to five-ish miles, the short can do a really good job. Again, the phone security is great. I think once that liner settles in, it does a good job of keeping the boy secure. And then also this shell has enough room, at least for my thighs, which are, I would say, a little bit bigger than the common bear regarding folks who like to run and just do some lifting. So if you want a short for like that hybrid style training, this can be a great option to go with, especially if you like shells with a little bit more stretch to them. For daily wear, this short has also done a pretty good job. I like the appearance of them, and honestly, this royal blue, it does pop and stand out, but it looks pretty good with a good tan in the summer, in my opinion. So for daily wear, I like this short a lot, and I also like that the pockets are deep enough to have my storage, but then they're not so long that they pop out of the shell, which is something that I noticed with my other five inch shorts when the pockets run a tiny bit too long. And I would say if you do want this short primarily for daily wear and just casual use, you might wanna go with the unlined option. The liner option might be a little bit annoying. I don't love wearing a compression liner all day, for example, so that is always one caveat to the two-in-one style shorts where you also get the liner, etc. And so to break down the performance of this short, for lifting, I'd give this short a strong eight out of 10. It's not designed for it, but it can work decently well. For cross training, I'd give it an 8.5 out of 10 because of that phone storage and how wispy it feels. For short runs and more of my hybrid athlete guys out there, I'd give this short a strong nine out of 10. Again, it's a really good short that trans sends most things outside of just running, which is, yes, what it's technically built for. And then for daily wear, I'd give this short a strong 8.5, 9 out of 10 as well. I think the unlined model is better for daily wear, and then that way you can kind of let the boys be free or wear your normal briefs so you don't have too much compression all day. All right, so now looking at the sizing of my Warren short here, I will have a five inch liner here with an internal liner in these shorts. And so a medium in these shorts fits waist 30 to 32. The large is 33 to 34. Again, my waist sits right around 32 to 33. And with training shorts, I often like to size down because I would rather have a waistband that fits more true so I don't have to crank it as tight. I don't like waistbands that are a little bit more spacious even though the shells might work better for my thighs because I do have slightly meatier thighs. And so to add context here, the upper part of my thigh is around 23 to 24 inches, lower is 20 inches. And so with this short, you can see it doesn't get hung up a ton, which I personally really like. And I like that the waistband actually fits pretty true. So I don't have to crank the waistband tight on this short when getting them tight. And again, all of my dimensions are gonna be over here for you to see at all times. But with this short here, when I tighten it a little bit, generally speaking, the security is enough to where if I go sprint, if I train, the waist doesn't pull down, which I personally love, and it doesn't bunch up. So this has been one of my go-to shorts lately. I really like the waistband. It's not so thick either that it kind of folds over like other shorts that I have. So if that's something that you're big on, I think you'll also like that. And then also the shell itself has a good amount of stretch. And so these shorts are technically made for like lounging and more running focus activities, but honestly, for a like hybrid short for also lifting, these have been pretty dang stellar. I also like that the pockets are deep enough to where you can put stuff in them, but they're not so deep that they pop out of the shell when you're flexing up with the short, like some other five inch shorts that I have. So overall, sizing and fit of the Wallaco Warren. Now, a couple of points here. If you have your own compression liner, I do think this short can be worth it if you go with the linerless option. And I will say too, with this liner here, if you have thicker upper thighs like me, what I've noticed is that when you're running, and I mentioned this already in my pros and cons and performance, but it will ride up a little bit, but then it settles in decently well. So I do like that once it's settled, it doesn't really move a lot. And that might irk some folks, but if that doesn't really bother you, then I think you will be safe in this short. What I'll do and what I've learned to do with this short too, if I'm squatting or if I'm sprinting or if I'm running, I'll actually just pull the liner up a tiny bit to start. And that way too, when I'm going, I don't have to mess with it and it's already settled in and I don't have to really josh around with it at all. And it doesn't feel so off-putting to have it ride up a tiny bit if you can kind of like mitigate where that's gonna ride up and you can get ahead of that. All right, so guys, who should buy the Warren short? So number one, I think if you're that hybrid guy that likes to blend your running with your lifting, this can be a great short to look into. It's a good all-in-one style training short, in my opinion. Works really well for lifting, is wispy enough for that, but then it also has enough mobility and integrity for lifting to keep it a little bit more durable. The second context where I think this short makes a 
lot of sense is if you are big on phone storage with your training. I know I mentioned this already a lot in this video, but this is one of my favorite shorts to date for phone storage. And I really appreciate that it always stays dry in this pocket regarding keeping my sweat away from my phone. And I have ruined a phone in the past by hitting it way too wet from sweat. Sweat got into the charging port. It was a whole thing. This was like four years ago. The third context where I think the short makes a lot of sense is if you're somebody with thinner to moderately muscular legs, I feel like the short is going to work well for your needs. I'm not convinced it's going to be the best for folks with really meaty legs, but if you have a leg anatomy that aligns with my size, or if you're a little bit thinner, this short I think will work really well. Now who should pass on the short? Number one, if you're a budget shopper, this is not going to be the most cost efficient training short on the market. This model costs $78. And while I like them and I think they are worth it, they're definitely not going to be for everybody. If you want to spend like $50 or less, let's just call it what it is. It's a pretty expensive short. The second context where I think this short can fall short God, what a weird sentence that was. I think if you are big on having a flatter waistband that doesn't have this kind of like internal ribbing, you might want to look into other models. So a good example here would be like the interval short from 10,000. They have a smoother waistband and some folks really like that with that model. Now the waistband does have some other issues, which I talk about in my review, but the waistband in this short, I will say until I broke it in, it was a little bit scratchy at times and now it's fine. So I would say give it a week or two or a wash before this waistband starts feeling better, but it is going to be, I think, noticeable for my folks out there who are really big on their waistband and how that lays flat on their skin and just feels on their skin in general. All right, guys, that wraps up my review of the Wallaco Warren shorts. Honestly, this short has steadily grown on me and I know it's a little bit more expensive, but would I get it again? I absolutely would. They've worked really well for my hybrid training needs. Now that said, I will be exploring more of Wallaco's gear now because this short has kind of bought me in. So I want to keep exploring their gear and giving you more up-to-date reviews on their products. But if you have additional questions on the Warren, drop a comment down below or reach out to me personally, whichever you prefer. And as always, y'all, drop a like on the video, drop subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next one.